Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dana in the Kitchen and on today's episode, I'll be teaching you how to make my version of guacamole, but I'll be using some additional ingredients that are not typically in guacamole and I'm also going to be teaching you how to make Cajun spice fried breadfruit chips. All right, so I know it's simple. This meal will come together in less than 20 minutes because the most that we have to do is fry the breadfruit. All right, so to start off everything, I'm just gonna give you a quick breakdown in the ingredients as usual. Say hello to the hand. All right, the hand, hand, hand. All right, so over here I have half of a roasted breadfruit. You can actually use the regular breadfruit the one that's not boiled or roasted we call that now raw raw breadfruit yeah the uncooked breadfruit you can use that but i'm opting to use the roasted version over here so we have some pure a jamaica meter so i'm not gonna say no avocado but in the event that you're wondering why i'm saying pear and you're not seeing any pear this may have taught both all right and I also have some chicken strips that I fried and just cut up in some pieces. In this little bowl right here, I have some salt, some Cajun seasoning, and some paprika. And I'm also going to be needing some Mrs. Dash. You can use the Italian medley, but if you like cilantro, you can go ahead and use your fresh cilantro as well as some ground cumin. I don't have any cumin but cumin is in this mix as well as some other herbs so that's good and for serving I'm going to need some sour cream so about a tablespoon of sour cream in this I have a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice if you have lime use that I may not have none of the fresh one them so I'm going to just use the one at the buckle all right so also have a small piece of yellow and red bell pepper I have one tomato and I have a half of a white onion so the first thing that we're going to be doing is to make a guacamole because I want everything to just gel together you know let the ingredients them just married consummate the marriage you know yes so we're going to work on the guacamole first and to do that I'll be setting everything else aside. So I'm gonna set my chicken aside because we're using that last. And set these aside as well. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is just to give this a light mash. We still want it to be chunky, so just don't go in too much with the mash. Use a bigger container if you feel free. But this is perfect for moi. Think this is a better angle? Yes. So this is perfect. So as I said before, you want it to be chunky and not necessarily creamy. So this should be good. All right, and then to this, we're going to be adding our lemon juice, just right on the top like that. And then we're going to start cutting our veggies. Now to do that, I'm just gonna set these on the counter. My counter is clean. In the event some of you want to make mention of that. So my counter is clean so I'm just going to give this somewhat of a small dice and a tip for the onion if you don't like the harsh 
nature of onions you can always go ahead and a regular white onions that is you can always go ahead and use some red onion which is a bit sweeter I have paper towel under this but it's running don't ask me why all right and next we're going to be doing the bell peppers so the only thing that I'll be doing is just to cut these in some strips And then give them the same small dice. Now bell peppers are not typically in guacamole, but I wanted variety. I wanted texture. And it's the same reason I am using the chicken as well. Because I I like it, but at the same time, it's a texture thing for me. It's a bit too soft, and even though when you use or when you have it with chips, it's crunchy and soft, but I still want a little bit more texture in mine. But you can go ahead and make it the original way by just using some fresh cilantro with your lime juice and a little bit of salt. All right, and for the tomato, I'm going to be removing the seeds. You can keep the seeds in if you like, but those will give extra moisture and I am really not looking for additional liquid in the tomato. So I'm going to remove, move. so I'm going to remove the seeds. And we're just going to julian and then go ahead and dice and the roma tomato is good or if you have the regular garden plum tomatoes that will be good as well so garden tomatoes roma tomatoes perfect All right, let's give this a nice chop. You can make them bigger if you choose to, but this is good for me. So I'm just going to add these to the bowl. Give my hands a quick wipe. And then the only thing we have left to add to this mixture would be some salt. So you want a couple heavy pinch of salt in this. Yep. And then the only thing that we're going to do is just mix and this is it believe it or not oh almost forgot to add my herbs so just a quick dash of that and that is it I'm just going to get a damp paper towel now and clean the edges off. I think I may have missed a few spots. That's good. Alright, so one way to prevent this from oxidizing or turning black will be to get yourself some cling wrap. And all we're going to do 
is just to put it over like this but instead of leaving it just as is what we're going to do what we're going to do until we're ready for it is just to press down the cling film like this and if you're using a container where you're going to store this for a couple days or longer this method can help to prevent it from turning black because even with the lemon or the lime juice it will still oxidize once it gets in the fridge so yeah so i'm going to set this aside and start working on the other components of the dish all right guys so for this portion of the video it's going to go by pretty quickly as well we're going to start working on our breadfruit now for the half of breadfruit i may not use all of it but all i'm going to do is just to cut that in half again lengthwise and i am going to core out the middle We normally say no, we're going to take out the art of the breadfruit. Yeah. So, just do this. Or you can just hold it like this. At an angle. See? Clean. So, what we're going to be doing is just, if you have a mandolin board... All you're going to be doing is just to get as thin as possible. Get your slices as thin as possible. Yes. Just like this. Or, if you want them thicker, all you have to do is just to cut them thicker like this. And I guess the thicker cuts will work best for this because then you have more space to hold your guacamole. Or if, you, if you're able to adjust your mandolin, then that will be perfect as well. I think this is enough. So about quarter inch thickness should be good all right so i'm just gonna finish up with the rest of this and i'll see you while i'm frying remember to have your oil heated to at least 350 to 400 degrees cool so i'll see you in the frying pan all right so the oil is pretty hot and i i think i have shown you guys how to test your oil but just in case you forgot that is hot all right so that is more than 350 degrees that's about 400 so i have my breadfruit right here all right so i'm going to be placing them in the oil right now so just carefully put them in the oil and we're going to fry these until they are golden You can use coconut oil for this, but I'm using regular vegetable oil, but whichever oil has a high burning point, you can go ahead and use it. And just ensure that everything is immersed in the oil. I can pretty much add some more 
So I'm going to do that. That way I don't have to do more than one batch. But if you have the time, you can always do three batches. So as you can see, the amount in here did not decrease the temperature of the oil because of course it's it's not cold and the moisture content in the breadfruit is pretty minimal so I'm just going to let these swim in hot oil for about 10 minutes or until they are golden brown and then we'll move on to the next step so I'll see you then all right guys so our breadfruit chips are ready see they are light and golden so I'm just gonna transfer them over to some absorbent paper shake off as much excess oil as possible And I'm just going to allow this to pretty much drain off for about 30 seconds. So, soon come with the next step. Ooh, these are golden. Alright guys, so we're almost at the end of the video. And it's basically time to assemble our meal. So... For this portion of the video, you're going to need one big pudding pan. Alright. Chips are in. And that spice mixture that we had with the Cajun seasoning. The salt. We're just going to add a little bit to that. And... Basically, just toss them around. So... Once you see each, how oh, this at each chip have on enough seasoning, then you know that we are good to go. All right, so that's good. So we're going to start working on the chicken and guacamole mix. All right, so we have our guac right here, and you can see. It still has its nice, vibrant green color. So I'm not, not going to be using all of this. So I'm going to transfer some to some Tupperware. And just reserve the amount that I need just right now. So at this point, all the flavors are married. The marriage has been consummated. I think I'll take a little bit more out. Yes, so we're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to wrap it with cling, cling wrap and then put it back in the fridge until we are ready to use it. So give me one second there. All right, same process. Press it down make sure you get all the sides don't leave any room for air good then we close and place it back in the fridge all right so for this portion we're going to dump our chicken in And just give it a light mix want to mix it enough that you can still see that there is chicken inside and I am going to be using this for serving uh oh guys I don't know some of a big pet peeve when you come on to anything dropping on the counter I'm gonna like it so I'll get that clean up in a minute 
all right so yeah if you have a bigger serving bowl by all means use it but I want this to be piled high all right looks good let me get rid of the salt mirror before I go crazy All right, so we're just gonna set this on our serving board. What does something in the name? Cachoo chirp. Listen to me. Me not gonna tie up my tongue tonight. And we're just going to place our chips alongside. You can do them as scantily or neatly. As you like but if it up to me me will just dash everything right there so if I'm being honest which I am being honest So that's pretty much for serving. I mean, this is perfect for games night. You know, if you have your movie night and you want something that's different, especially because breadfruit is something that's typically in season almost all year round in some parishes in Jamaica. If you're overseas, you might be able to find it in your Caribbean or Asian food market. All right, so this is it, guys. And of course, we still need some sour cream. So I'm just going to be putting a dollop of sour cream. Uh-oh. All right, so just a dollop of sour cream right here. And then, if you want to get a little bit more, let me see, fancy-ish, to get your spoon, place it down like this. Put it like that. Yeah, but I mean, I really like the turn out of that. Because it's not as smooth as I want it to. So if it flap, like what it just do for me, just fill the space with a little bit more sour cream and you're good all right so i'm just gonna knead that up a little bit just get a piece of paper like so and guys we are done we are finished as you can see the chips are crunchy nice and crunchy Crunch this. Yeah. Like I said before, it can hold up your guacamole pretty good. So, mm, that's nice. That is nice. All right, guys. So. If you try this, you can always feel free to tag me on Instagram at Deanna in the Kitchen or on Facebook. All the links will be down in the description below. As usual, the full recipe will be down in the description box. All right, guys, so we have come to the end of another video. Yes, I told you it was going to be short. And... Uh, yeah, so thank you as usual for watching. For my new subscribers, welcome, 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 welcome. I really do appreciate the support. We are growing steadily. So remember to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell another friend, to tell our friend, 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 friend. All right, so until next time, this is Diana in the Kitchen. Thank you so much for watching. 